Today's youth need teachers, volunteers, and most of all, well, they need you. I'm Doug Edwards, and I'm going to be talking with real youth mentors and students to give you the knowledge you need to be the best youth worker possible. This is Youth Worker on Fire. All right, today is uh, another Youth Worker on Fire. And uh, hey, Youth Worker Nation, this is Doug Edwards. I'm Doug, and that's, those are other guys. That's Mike Ligler, which is the teacher. They call him Mr. Ligler here. There's Gabby. Uh, she's, uh, well, she's the girl. So she's the president. The girl. I'm she's the president. Oh, she's she's El Presidente. The president. She, the president. she brings right. the estrogen. Yeah. She was, yeah. she was yeah. the OG I'm the, first I'm lady. I'm the director of studio. And then we have... Then we have Bear. Bear. Okay, we have Bear. I'm, I'm the city. jack of all trades. The here. best boy, if you will. Best boy. <laughs> best, boy. best boy. Best boy. That's right. Or lead gap. Or one of the two. Soon there'll be men and women, but right now they're they're just boys and girls. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I'm that young again? Yeah. 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 Oh, good. Hey, can we start can revert back to your Three Buddha boy, days? Boy genius. Finished college at two. <laughs> like Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> have you murdered people yet, though? Not that Dexter. Uh, the cartoon character. Uh, yeah. But hey, th these are the. This is the production crew. Now let me tell you. Here's here's what happened. In fact, what month was? Do you remember what month I came to you last? It's about May. School year. I was gonna say Same April. This, 2016. April. I think yeah. It was April. About the Maybe month end of before. April. Probably. End of April, beginning of May. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. we decided to do this. In fact, I'd never been a part of podcast role before. I think I'd listened to maybe. 0.01% of a podcast at one time, <laughs> and then realized that, that uh, hey, it was something I could do to help some people, help people in youth who are youth workers like you. But I, I came to Mr. Ligler. Now, yep. uh, you had said for a couple of years that basically, hey, if you want to do a project, you know, let's do a project. And, yeah, definitely. Um, and t what do you guys do for the community? I mean, as far as projects, this is a media production and... Well, I mean, for the community, we do movies in the park. If people call and ask for us to take pictures of their wedding, we don't really do pictures, but... We'll we do. the wedding for them. Worst case scenario, we've done weddings. Yeah. We did wedding photography. Funeral we videos. Did, uh, we did funeral videos. We made three of those last year, right? Three funeral videos, yeah. stepping out for education. Any uh, event in the park? We do that. Yeah, we yeah. did the. Uh, David did the Pokemon Go event we had a couple months ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah any, if, if, if there's anything happening locally, we try to cover it, and then we broadcast it thanks to Dr. Anna Marie on Lakefront Television. There you go. There yeah. you go. As a result, I came to you and I said, "Oh, listen, man, this is near the end of the year. I got, but I've got this two two week window. I had this two week right. window that we could really." stack some interviews and we did I think we got around 18 in yeah when so, we before we knew yeah. we needed to mic them individually yeah, and, yeah. And, and some of that still worked some of it still worked yeah. we were yeah. able to yeah. bear, sat, bear sat back there with that audio probably for a couple several hours mm -hmm. yeah. trying to clean it up from the original recordings yeah the lapels and these mics make it a lot easier yeah. it's yeah. really simplified it works. did we now. use um the boom mic before right? yes yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you got to have, and by the way, team is important. Uh, I, I have to have a team. I'm only good at things when I have a team. I used to think I was good doing stuff by myself, but when you finally grow up in life, you realize that really all great things are done with a team. Yeah. And so, and uh, Mr. Ligler said, hey, we'll get the best of the best. And so what you see here on stage, oh, the rest of the And then I got them these. The worst of the worst right I mean, there. Is that what it was? Darn it. Oh, oh man. Person. Yep. Yeah. All you have to do is sign a piece of paper for these guys. That's <laughs> volunteer hours. Volunteer hours. Yeah. And then they go for it. So that makes them the best. But the volunteer hours get them their jobs. I mean, That's some right. of them, some yep. of them have, found, have found paid work yeah. yes. in the area. Mm -hmm. Me. <laughs> <laughs> David's the one getting paid. <laughs> yeah. I roll burritos for a living. Oh, yeah. I bag at Publix. <laughs> he, and he watches a lot of Netflix. I, I, <laughs> I teach high school. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, Poor guy. <laughs> I think, who wins here? <laughs> Burritos. 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 So I said, hey, you know, hey, can, can we do this? I know this is going to, he said, yeah, let's, let's do it. And so we started experimenting and getting, uh, we got a lot of interviews in, a lot of people in. I was very, very happy myself. And by the way, I wrote 50 plus people to get those 18 interviews. And that's really a good percentage. Yeah. If you're if you're trying to get anything happening, about one to ten percent is about all you get. Well, Doug, I mean that shows how well connected you are in the area, for people to come in just want to sit down and talk. I was surprised that you knew Quan. 
Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows Quan. Quan is a jack of everything. Sells this, yeah. does that, yeah. and everybody knows Quan. Everybody so. knows Quan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was funny. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, we ran into a lot of people that we both knew. Tell me about the beginning of the process. And Gabby, you came in what this year? Not in the beginning of last year. Were you there? I mean, at the end of last uh, year. I think she was I there, mean, like discussing it. But me and David like started it. In it was, yeah, somewhere. it started with me and Bear. We started out making the intros, intros and the, intros, the, the, the commercials and stuff. Yeah. And, and then we had Madison Bakage also, but she's she oh, left us last no, year. No, Carolyn. 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 Yeah. Bakage. Yeah. Yeah. I named her yeah. older sister. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Bakage. Yeah. yeah she's, she's, now, she she's in New York now. So we lost her. So we had to. Bring in some more people. Yeah, I think we try to get <laughs> Delilah. Nice. Didn't we try to get Delilah into this? Try to get Delilah. She's like off doing other projects now. Yeah, mm -hmm. she. We had to move her to other projects, but yeah. so we find had to find the people that were able to mostly just be in here for more than one period. That's a big yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, and people who you know know what they're working with and know Doug's goal and know how to accomplish that in the best way. And in, in, in the beginning, we didn't totally talk about the goal. I think we may have gone through it some. Do you guys remember us talking about what the goal was? Yeah, um, that's something that I really wanted to know from you straight off the bat because I wanted to see long run what we wanted for this podcast. And you told me that you wanted to help the people locally or anywhere find out if they really wanted to go into teaching or coaching. And they get to hear our experience to decide that for their schools. And not even just from the students, from teachers and from people that are volunteering for the mm -hmm. schools. And you get to hear that and hear what they've gone through and what they do. Yeah. So you can look at it and go, well, I don't know if I can put that much time in. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it. We're saving you time. <laughs> yeah. One of the uh, best podcasts in business, they said, saying yes is really uh, not the best answer because everything you say yes to, you're saying no to everything else during those periods of time. And so. Right. Yes is a good answer, but it's not always the best answer. Sometimes no is the best answer. Yeah, for sure. That's what, yeah. my, that's what my wife says. I'm still trying to learn. <laughs> <laughs> really, my wife's I mean, telling me the same thing. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. And you guys, what, are y'all? Is it hard for y'all to say no to things? Yeah, yeah there's not much we have to say no to because I yeah. I want to do everything right that now, I can. Go ahead right. and say it again. I I try to do anything I can because any work is good work at this point. Any experience where you have to take something and make something out of it. Even with minimal equipment, you know, that yeah. it's a heck of an experience. Yeah. 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 It's a challenge yeah. and, I'll, like, give you a good experience for, like, a next event. Even just setting up for a movie in the park, you think it's a small Gosh. event, but that is... Yeah, I remember my first movie in the yeah. park. I had no idea what to do. <laughs> I was out there, like, and all these cables were being run, and we had to set up the projector and all this. And, um, that was, like, my f uh, first year here. I didn't really get started until, like, halfway through. Lig just, like, anyone got a truck? And I raised my hand. <laughs> and there was like, it. Yeah. He's, like, truck. Truck, let's go. Truck. You just yeah. follow around Lig and Trent until you kind of know what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, you just follow yeah. Lig and yeah. Trent and yeah. you go, it yeah, takes when like they a, ask questions like that are directed year, to you. Hey, to it. And with the level ones, I'm trying to convince them that, you know, when we're back here running cables and troubleshooting these problems, for j just to follow us around. Just watch. Yeah. Yes, And just please. watch. That's one of the biggest ways to learn. And mm -hmm. that's one of the things that Mrs. Velez says about this class is, you know, she brought another principal from another school in here. And we were in here, the studio's in shambles. <laughs> And everything's not working, when but it's it? it's me coaching a bunch of kids to fix the problems. It's not me doing it all. She goes, see, they're like they're troubleshooting, but it's not Mr. Ligler tr troubleshooting. It's the kids troubleshooting. Yeah. So I mean, it's I do some of it, and when they can't figure it out, then we sit down and we talk about it. But we mm -hmm. come to a resolution usually. Yeah. 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 And, and let me tell you, this is the perfect setting. Here's here's something I've learned. And today I was even listening to a guy by the name of Seth Good. Godin and Seth, I believe, was uh, before there was AOL. There was this other thing, and and that was Seth. In fact, he talked about basically losing a billion dollars, <laughs> you know. And and he's the guy that that people listen to, you know, on you know starting industry and podcasting is a big thing with him and and different things like that. When's the perfect time to start a podcast or start a media project? When's the perfect time? Now, whenever you want. Why do you say that? Because you don't need a lot of equipment to do a podcast. If you have an iPhone and access to iTunes, you can... Um, but don't you have yeah, to have the perfect idea? Don't you have to have the perfect idea before nah. you ever... You develop the idea as you go. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people that have their own like ideas, and then it gradually evolves over time and becomes something that they perfected, and it's their own like certain thing that they're, that they're known for. 
Listen, some of the best minds in the world are saying the same thing you're say, saying right now. Should you get better and better? Yes, absolutely. Should you put out quality stuff? Yes. When is the perfect time to start? It's right now. That's right. Because there's lots of people waiting for the perfect timing, the perfect idea, and there is no perfect timing. And there is no perfect idea until you start. Right, yeah. and then it becomes something. Yeah, it's a trade. Mm -hmm. You have to practice it and develop yeah. it over time. You, I mean, you learn through doing. We can take David, for example. Yes, please. We said, <laughs> hey, there's this company <laughs> called Data Graphics that needs some help. And he hadn't really done much in TV yeah. production. I hadn't done before much. Then. And so we just go, here, have fun, bye. Yeah, over the year and a half that I spent in Lake's class, I did learn about composition. I just never applied it. And going to Data Graphics, filming their commercials, I applied it, and it just so happened that it worked. He was good at it. <laughs> yeah. Oops, I'm good said, at Oops. it. Oops, <laughs> Oops, I'm good at it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I don't think Gabby really knew that she was, or even Bear, for that matter, knew yeah. that they were going to be good at this and be in charge of so much stuff. I used to be who slept in the corner in the classroom. You and still are. I still day. sleep in the sometimes. corner. Sometimes. I, mean, I still sleep. I think all of you sleep sometimes right sleep here. in the corner. I sleep yeah. right there. <laughs> We're so worn out from doing a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah. and that is it. Me media production or, or any kind of, of business, actually, mm -hmm. that you are passionate about, you will end up sleeping <laughs> on your desk, sleeping under your desk, sleeping in the corner of a room, because uh, sometimes hours become vague because you're passionate. Yeah. And your job, uh, Mr. Jeffrey Ons, uh, when we talked to him, I asked him about teaching. You remember what he said? I said, don't do tell it. people, <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Don't he did. Do it. <laughs> so, yeah, tell, tell us what he said about uh, that. Specific. I said, you know, what would you yeah. tell people that are we're wanting to go, thinking yeah, about whether or not they need to go into on. teaching? What did he say? Uh, he said, like, unless it's something you really want to do, like, don't do it. Because if you think about it, like it's not worth the pay, but if it's something you're passionate about and you're oh, yeah. willing to sacrifice things. If you, you ever phrase you have though, the drive for if that. you ever break down our sour, salary hourly, yeah. don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're thinking about teaching, don't break it down because if you really down. want just to just teach anyway, no matter Look at what, what, right? they, what you're supposed to do and then right. the math yeah. looks okay. You do so much unpaid work. You have to deal with so many <laughs> right. things. But it's worth it Yeah. because you got people that you end up, once they graduate and move on to college, that they come back and like Trent. Spending time with them, <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> like Trent Shipton. Yeah, he yeah, comes in Trent. and he works with us. Yeah. In here in the studio, helps us with tech stuff, and he's still around. Yeah. He yeah, just yesterday. saw Trent Tuesday and. and <laughs> he was here yesterday. You know, he's, yeah, he was. Because he's a guy that's working all the time, so you tend to run into him. Yeah. You know, in places. Yeah. I'm so thankful for Trent because he's yeah. given me a lot of opportunities in the, yeah. recently. And. Hey, it's plug, just nice having someone like him around. Trent Shipton. Trent Shipton. Hey. We, we, we will. We That's what we'll do. We'll, we'll, so we'll set him here. up. Yeah. Absolutely. Trent. Trent. <laughs> You're next. Giving stuff away. This, this is a big deal. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jeff, Jeff Rounds, he said basically uh, the teaching a thing is the worst job you'll love to hate, you know, or you'll hate to love or something like that because of all the hours and and different things like that, and hours you're not paid for. Mm -hmm. And he said that became his hobby, basically. He said somebody said, because he's at a class at UCF, hey, you need a hobby. He said, I think this is my hobby. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, it's my job and my hobby. So giving things away. Big thing in podcast world that we found is that it's more important to give things away than it is to sell things. He, he said, you'll, you'll end up selling things, but first your audience needs to know that you care about them. Yeah. Your audience needs to know that you're not there just trying to take something from them. And that is, uh, what do you guys think about that in life, period? Well, I'm actually learning about that, the basics of that in economy right now, mm -hmm. where there's, at the beginning, there's going to be a dip in your profits, your, your marginal benefit, but as time goes, it'll get more worth it. So you take that hit in the beginning so that it'll work out in the long run. Yeah, what is that hit? What's that hit called? I mean, give me an example. Give me uh, any one of you. Are, are you. The example is Doug. He doesn't know if this podcast is going to work out. He doesn't know if it's going to get views. But he puts in, we, we all put in the time and the effort to make it. And we go from there. Yeah, absolutely. And I think right now we got like 600 downloads. And there's more views, but they're like 600 plus downloads. Well, I found out to get monetized, 20,000. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey. For them to start looking and, and going, 
Okay, now we want to monetize you. We're like 5% there. Yeah, or five, yes. You so, know. I mean, it, but that's when you come out of your local setting to your more regional. regional right, to, to the, in world setting. I mean, everything exactly. that we're doing here is as adaptable in other countries Correct. as it is here. Mm -hmm. And so we're, we're looking at, at a world view. But locally, it's more important that we look at each other and help each other because all of those people live in their own neighborhoods. And what we do here speaks to somebody in Australia. It speaks to somebody in Jamaica. It speaks to somebody in California. Another country, really. But anyway, <laughs> it speaks to, you know, and so, and, and that's what your topic is. Your topic is whatever you think you're the expert at. An expert is someone who knows more than the person they're talking to. But I'd rather. I don't consider myself an expert. I just consider myself slightly dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you mean by that? I know well, what you mean by that. Well, I mean, that. like, I'm a master of none, jack of all trades. I mean, I'm master of none, but I can hang with anybody yeah, on yeah. anything. And I'd what? rather be talking to an expert than be the expert. That's true. It's a good way to look at it. Yeah. Brand new thing that I just learned. I shouldn't have just learned. I think it's maybe in the last year, but it's really kind of nailed me recently, and that is never, if you're the smartest person in the room, change rooms. Yeah. <laughs> because you're not learning anything. You know? Yeah. I guess I should turn off my mic and go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's right. You're the smartest oh, person. You better go find somebody. Oh, you got us. another room right now. <laughs> Tell me what you thought this whole process was going to be. You know, this is discussion here and, and, and just kind of All right, you ready? talking. So, right. what did you think it was going to okay. be? And, I and thought, then we'll go to where, you, where, where it is. Here's <laughs> where I thought. I thought, this is in all honesty, all right. we're going to get a couple interviews and it's going to fizzle and die. Did, I, I mean, yeah. in all honesty, sure. yeah, yeah. but it's come to the point where people keep coming in and bigger names keep showing up and more downloads and it's starting to build. So what I thought, being the ever pessimist, <laughs> that it was, we were going to get a couple in, there, it was going to be fun, a good learning experience. And, mm -hmm. it was turned and a couple of months later, year. we're still doing it. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. still doing it. And like everything had started in the small studio and with the boom mic and all, and now we're just all evolved with all this stuff out now. Yeah, lots of improvement in quality, definitely. Yeah. yeah, the first the first like couple months, I mean, they were doing we were kind of like just lost and like the audio and like quality wasn't as good as it is now. Yeah, we we were a little frustrated because yeah, we, we wanted it to, to be, be so much something better, better and yeah. we really just had to be patient, I guess. Yeah. It takes time yeah. to blossom yeah. something. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, uh, I was talking to uh, Jay Strack. He's on one of the interviews yep. that, you, that you've edited, so you guys may not have heard of it. Well, y'all have yeah, because yeah, you've been yeah, in the yeah, studio. Yeah, <laughs> and the one thing uh, Jay said, and I think it's in one of the interviews, I know it was when I interviewed him he said this. He said, and he was talking on a God level because he, he deals with Worldwide Student Leadership University, which is a uh, Judeo-Christian thing, that sort of thing. So one thing he said, he said, uh, where God leads, he provides. Well, you see that in the secular world, too, that when something is quality, people start wanting to be a part of it. They want to give money to it because they don't want it to end. And uh, for this project, we've been given a, around $1,000. Well, that's not much, but I never asked for it. Yeah. Right. You know, now we need 10000 But I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but they spoiled us, right? Anyway. <laughs> got to start somewhere. That's, that's right. That's right. So when good things happen, people do start jumping on board. What about when you hit a wall? Have we hit a wall at all? Have you hit a wall with some of this stuff at all? I mean, we like like said, we were expecting to, but we just didn't. Yeah. And so that's why we're here. That's why we're keeping uh, Every keeping once in a while, I'll walk into the edit suite, and they're banging their heads on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh, we're finish Doug's video. That's just rebooting. Start another one. Yeah, that's exactly right. Got to re reset Start the another one. Yeah. I got to do another one. Oh yeah, finish one, time for the other one. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. but it's it's constant work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're doing that in between doing all the other stuff. Yeah. And, you know, so there's a lot of stuff going on. It's always something to do here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's we're trying to get everybody to realize yeah. that. Getting everybody to realize that, getting everybody on board to realize there's some, always something always to do. Volunteers full-time youth pastors, full-time teachers, full-time educators, coaches, what, wherever you want to go with some of these things, the process, you're always busy. Yeah, and one thing that applies here and it applies everywhere else you volunteer, 
there will be a lot of people, but not a lot of people doing it right. And so if you want to do it right, you got to do it yourself. And that's what we've learned. That's why, you know, we're the ones doing this still. We've tried to have other people join in. But like I said, if you want it done right, you got to do it yourself. Yourself with a team. And I, I do correct that because Ex I used to be well, the guy yeah. that you were brought up. Hey, if you want to do it right, do it yourself. And then we found out in business that if you want to do it right, you find somebody better than you to do it with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, no, yeah. Uh, no, I, I agree with yeah, that. It's like, I, I'm a sound guy. I do all that stuff. But I didn't understand that. Board, if yeah, I hadn't given right. it to you, we'd still be trying to figure I'd still be trying to figure it out. Left you right. know, and, and you've got, and part of that's a, you got to get rid of pride when oh, you yeah. grow something so that you can say, okay, wait a minute, bear's better than me at this. He's better at being a bear than I am. So, yeah. you know, and uh, yeah, find people that compliment you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. People that want to stir up. I mean, everybody doesn't have you guys. And I hope I'm the only one. Nobody else can have you. Oh. So anyway, <laughs> but uh, doing projects like don't this. Tell Paul. But, uh, <laughs> don't tell Paul. So this one will only go to New Zealand and Australia. Oh, so if you want to travel, you, they may hire you there. Yeah. But um, <laughs> tell Youth Worker Nation, how can they do something like this? And should they do something at this level? Our thing is, podcasts are normally audio. We're doing audio video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, releasing the audio first, then eventually the bringing in the video. Right. Later, right. Do they have to have a team like you? And no, if they want to have a team not. like you, well, how could they do that? I mean, you could start off by yourself, but like with expansion, it'd be it'd be pretty good to like have a team to help support you and stay organized and such. Like if you look at the big, like huge podcasters, they always have like a huge staff and they're always like on time with everything. They're they have a, like a good organized schedule. They have good crew, and then that's what helps make them successful. But I mean, you could you could start off slow and by yourself. But eventually, over time, it'd be a wise idea to team up. When you want to start something, all you have to have is that basic idea. Mm -hmm. And then technology is such now that they just purchased less than $2,000 worth of equipment for somebody in one of the front office. Yeah. And it's, it's literally setup. made by podcaster. And you put an iPad into it, it mounts on the tripod, it comes with a microphone, a light, and a chroma key background. Oh, wow. And there it is. That's Everything, sick. and you can edit right on the iPad. It's done. Yeah. So under $2,000, you're getting enough equipment to get going. The number one podcaster, EO Fire, John Lee Dumas, computer, microphone, headset, and Skype. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a lot of people. Um, and he's seven days a week, him. and he's seven figures. He's over, I think he's like uh, six figures a month, seven figures. He's in the millions now. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Uh, just and, and so it's, it's all, all it takes. Then you've got you got other guys like you're talking about that uh, have done doing what we're doing. They're doing both. Mm -hmm. they're, they're trying to hit both markets in that way. It's so. tough hitting both. Sometimes I mean, yeah. sometimes my mom always said I had a face for radio. So <laughs> trying to trying to do both. I absolutely. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. I have these pretty people all right. Right. Yeah. 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 People that compliment <laughs> us. That's right. Even Zoom out, in on uh, them. Good luck. Yeah. yeah. Make the nose smaller. That's not possible. <laughs> no, it's true. We always have fun. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. Is we can sit here and joke around, but <laughs> we, we have fun. Yeah. I'm the teacher, but if I'm not going to sit here and have fun, I'm not going to want to come back and do this every day. Yeah. yeah. And being wanting to do it every day, that's what you have to do. Yeah. You can't stop. Mm -hmm. Once you start going, that's the trick is you can you have the idea, you can start moving forward. But you A lot of stop. people fizzle. Yeah. Like I said, They'll yeah. just get that's up. what we've dealt with. And a lot of times stuff fizzles because that's what we deal with. Yeah, right. A lot of people will get frustrated and they'll want to quit yeah. if something gets <laughs> tough or like something's stopping them from moving forward. But mm -hmm. you just got to fight through it. And then when you get past it, you'll be glad you fought through it. Let's project where you think, not me, where you think just in your imagination where this will be in a year. Honestly, what does it, look like? it doesn't matter how good or bad something is because... If you look on the internet, people have a really great following, but it's not because of what they have. It's just because that they've worked really hard. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on how hard we work in the yeah. next year. Well, so, so if we work hard, then where is it going to be? What's it going to be? Then it'll just keep growing. I don't know. I don't know how to guess the numbers, but I really have no clue. Yeah. I mean, if no, we, I'm okay. No clue. So if you look at, we're at 600 right now. Yeah. yeah. The base number. A couple of months four or five months since yeah. we started. And so it's going to grow, and it's going to grow more. And like I said, if you keep going. Yeah, if you keep on going, it's not going to plateau. Yeah, because a lot of people watch it, ah, I'll come back yeah. to it. 
and when they come back to it, it's still there and there's more and there's more interesting people and we get bigger they'll stick around and the biggest thing is you guys have to train your replacements yeah oh yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. don't forget that now no mm-hmm. we haven't okay good we Just haven't checking. forgot and we haven't trained and yet. so i think in you know in a year with more kids that are going to keep it going I, it, it's going to grow I, I don't see it stopping yeah. why not mm-hmm. i mean every everyone has their own fan base so I mean, you'll grow to your, your own fan base, and it's hard to judge where, like, that fan base limit is. But, you know, you'll get there. Like, I'm actually surprised. It's been, we've started out small. Like, like, like I, didn't, I didn't know how far this was going to go. I didn't think it was going to, like, last that long. But you surprised me with all these, getting these great views, these downloads. And it's only been a couple of months, and you're already over 600. So I think, like, in a couple of years, you'll be up there pretty good. Maybe top 100, top 50. Oh yeah, I remember David and making I money is what the biggest thing. Is. <laughs> Come on, people. Come on. <laughs> and you ha- and listen, and you have to make money in order to keep uh, going. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, and and when you make money, you can do it full time, and that's yes. where we want to go, so that you're able to like right now we're able to do like one one, one a week, and we're, and we're and listen, and then my buddy who just does the audio, uh, Mike Helms, it's all he can do to get the audio from you through me or whatever, and to get it ready to go into iTunes and Google Play and all that stuff. Yeah. And my son hasn't even got, uh, Ryan, with the 808 up in Charlotte, the videos so that we can upload. Either we're going to upload, we're not going to, we're going to upload it privately somewhere to YouTube so he can tweak it because he is the expert in social media. And so I don't even touch my social media on Youth Worker Nation. He's behind some on it, but I know that if uh, I put some things on it and he goes, don't do that. <laughs> there you go. Okay, take it off. <laughs> and he'll. So you need, and so you're part of a bigger team. It's not just this team. The, our team is people you don't know. And when you grow, the great thing is that you won't know your entire team. And that's okay. The reason it's okay is sometimes the, the project should always be bigger than you and me. It should be bigger than me. If anything happens to me and I'd stop doing this, this project if it's really reaching people, could take over another personality. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Easily. The opportunities the kids get to work with people coming in, uh, that's really where it's good for us to see the different type of people that want to come in and speak with you to set up all the equipment each time. It's, it's great practice and it's great learning. So thank you for that. Okay. It's good. Yeah. Great learning for me. You guys are invaluable. Um, one of the reasons why we yeah, thank you, no. learn so much from it is because we make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't learn yeah. Yeah. You can't without, without making, making the mistakes, mistakes yeah. first. And so this is not a perfect podcast. We had some yeah. problems with, you know, remember the microphone that. Microphone flop. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. 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 We, yeah. it wasn't yeah. dressed quite right. Right. So what? that's how we learn. Yeah. The mistakes. That's like the mistakes. Yeah. yeah. Perfect things are built out of failures yeah. and getting up quickly. And failures are good. There is no growing without failure no. and this is an environment this is a laboratory and the greatest and, and here's what some of the greatest organizations are saying the reason we're growing is because we've had 99 failures and you hear about the one we got right mm. and we write a book about it yeah. yeah and so everybody thinks that's all we do so this is perfect because this is how all of life should be the freedom to experiment the freedom to grow okay so guys Thank you so much. You've been listening to the Youth Worker on Fire podcast. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and tell your friends. Also, leave a comment and tell us what you think. Stay tuned for more informative episodes.